future of agri-sure trades is pretty bright within Syngenta because Syngenta is, uh, is really focused on innovation and developing new products and technologies that really help growers uh, increase their product productivity and become more profitable. And uh, when you look at all the investment that Syngenta makes in, into those innovations, uh, it, it does look like there's a lot of things that are pretty bright in the future. And with some of the new technologies that are available now, like gene editing and things like that, it, it really helps uh, enable us further and really uh, helps speed that innovation engine. So Syngenta is using CRISPR technology to introduce new insect control traits and disease resistant traits and drought tolerant traits. Lots of different areas where we are working to help bolster our already strong AgriSure portfolio. That growth will continue simply because uh, we believe that directed research and investment in continued research is so important in finding those differential technologies that actually solve production problems for our farmers. People think of scientists as these uh, uh, loners that uh, work in this lab and wear, wear white lab coats. And, and in order to succeed in science now, you, not only do you have to be a good scientist and have good background, but you have to be a good team player because it takes many skills across the whole spectrum to go from an idea uh, or, a, or a business need to a product. To bring new traits to market quicker, uh, we're doing a lot of things in parallel. Uh, trying to bring the last part of research and development to try to do them together to save some time. In Syngenta as a whole, there's about 5,000 uh, people in research and development. In seeds development, we're approximately 1,800 people. Uh, all probably have a hand direct or indirect and bring uh, traits and working with AgriSure. We'll continue to see new innovation, uh, multiple performance enhancing technologies that uh, we simply haven't been able to bring to farmers uh, previously. So as we begin to see the fruits of some of those, uh, those new tools, so to speak, uh, in R&D, We'll be able to incorporate many of those into our corn hybrids and soybean varieties and bring those to farmers in a shorter period of time. 